Now, if you retards were even paying remotely close attention to what I have created thus far, you would probably realize that the data set exists in probably well over 500 to 1,000 terabytes worth of solid state drives. As you can imagine, it's incredibly inefficient to be able to power such devices with anything else other than PCI Express based cards. Which also leads us to the next evolutionary step in Bitcoin mining. Liquid cooled PCI Express cards. Why would you want liquid cooled PCI Express cards? Well, all you fucking retards that talked a bunch of stupid ass shit about Josh Zerlin are about to feel like fucking retards. And I'll tell you why. The main reason why you're about to feel like retards is because ASICs in PCI Express is the ultimate option. A 14 or 20 terahash Bitcoin miner. And the only way that it would exist would it be if if you had someone who could build application program interface that interface PCI Express domain boards and harvested the ability to run VM chips in PCI Express. So if you had a server farm that was far superior to the average server farm, it was custom made, it would be worth a substantially larger amount of equity faster, which means that you own everything, basically. So if you were to go and do something like that hypothetically, it would make a substantially large amount of equity very quickly, and as long as the equity was managed correctly, then nothing would happen. Which also leads to the uh, infiltration of the banking system and saying, hey, get the fuck off my money, which is brought to you in part by your truly. He talks. <laughs> So anyway, um, if you wanted Bitcoin to be able to be interfaced with federal application layers that contain substantially larger amounts of equity, which would ultimately give the system the financial backing that it would need, if you wanted that application program interface interface with the federal data government application program interface, and you wanted to be able to bridge those things together in something that would become a reality, you would have to make sure that the application program interface that was presented worked correctly. Because if it didn't, your shit's all fucked. And nobody likes a fucked system because, yeah, that's a lot of money and nobody wants to fuck that shit up. 